episode of Kings of News. I am your host, Gwen Goosby Tillery. I'm excited that you decided to tune in with us this morning. And I know every week I say I have a special guest, but that's because I do. Every week I bring on somebody who is special. But this week I get to bring on someone who's extra special, particularly special to the KPTV family. This week, I have the honor and the privilege of being able to interview our own Bishop Charles Matthews, who is the broadcast director for Kingdom Purpose TV. So welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Gwen. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. I am glad to have you on. We've been trying to get this done for a while. Yeah. But as you said, you know, guys, timing is perfect. Exactly. So this is the perfect time for us to have this interview. So we're going to spend a little bit of time finding out a little bit more about who Bishop Charles Matthews is, about his ministry, how he got involved in ministry. Then we're going to talk a little bit about Kings of Purpose TV and all the exciting and amazing things that are happening uh, with the broadcasting um, through Kingdom Purpose TV. It's been an amazing journey in a short yes. amount of time. Some really good stuff has happened. So as yes. I said, welcome. So tell us, uh, just tell us, I know you've been in ministry a long time. Mm. How did that journey begin? Well, my friend, it started uh, way back in, uh, so was, I'm talking about my age now, way back. So back in 1990, actually, um, uh, my lifestyle before giving my heart to Christ, I grew up in a uh, downtown Portsmouth, Virginia, um, in one of the worst projects of the city. And of course, my lifestyle was not uh, becoming uh, as a man of God before I received Christ. Um, gang banging and, and doing a lot, a lot of crazy things that, uh, you know, that that's not good for your health. Praise the Lord. But when God delivered and set me free, when 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 I said yes to Him, He literally began to deal with me about ministry. I, I found the church I grew up in. Um, I grew up in a certain church that, as I was as a young man, and I, and I left the church and started doing my own thing. But I was blessed enough going to find my old church i'm an old pastor got in church and god began to raise me up from 1990 praise god uh, uh, he did a, a fast work in my life still is but from 1990 to 91 um just being discipled got into uh became a deacon um I'd like to say i climbed so many steps praise god by now i should be president <laughs> but you know um i don't i don't i don't how can i say this i don't want to miscount or um I, I don't despise any any of those steps because that's the, those are the steps that, that, that give you character when it comes to when it comes to ministry. Um, uh, aspiring minister, minister, pastor. Um, and so in 1999 into 2000, I launched out into my, into my own ministry. And that's how I got started. And, um, and here I am now by God's grace. And he's been so good to me. Sounds amazing. Yeah, you know, it's, it, you know, you look at people and you see them where they are, but you have no idea of their story and their struggle and what it takes for them to get to where they are. Of course, my dog is barking. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh -huh. So, as I was saying, you, you don't know what it takes for people to get to where they are. You just look at them and you see where they are now, but you don't have any idea of the struggle um, or the hard work that they had to put in to get to where they are. And so, you know, just that brief testimony that you gave is an example of that because people see, you know, Bishop Charles Matthew, oh, you know, he the man, he do, but they don't have any idea of all the stuff that you had to go through, all the mm -hmm. steps that you had to go through uh, yes. to get there. So you had your church, you said now for uh, 20 years. And yes. where, where is it located? We're located in the mid city section of Portsmouth, Virginia. And it's called No Limits Nations Church. Um, we believe, praise God, that there's no limits to what God can do in your life. Uh, we are a kingdom ministry. Our, our, our motto is we are a kingdom church with kingdom results. And so 
um, discipleship is, 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 is the main feature of our of, uh, and heart of our ministry to disciple all men to be uh, kingdom citizens. And that's what we're called to do. And he's been blessing us. Um, uh, we have various outreach ministries that, that we do. We got something that we do in the summertime called, uh, and this is, of course, before the pandemic. It's called drive drive through prayer, and that's something. And that happened. We don't know before it, uh, COVID hit. People would drive. And we will just continue to bless them and keep on uh, uh, pointing to them. And one of the, that's some of the some of the things we do that's kind of unique in our ministry. So God been good to us as as a church, and of course, um, I also serve as uh, director of broadcasting and KPTV, as you know. Yes, and now you have how many shows do you have on Kingdom Purpose? Um, right now, I have one show to come on twice on Tuesdays and Thursday nights um, at five thirty. It's called Kingdom Kingdom Dimensions. It's okay. Tuesday and Thursday nights. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about um, what you do with that. So the Lord dealt with me strongly about about Kingdom. You know, uh, a lot of people don't understand that when Jesus said, "Let it be done on earth as it is in heaven," he was literally talking about bringing his agenda in the earth okay and and this happens um in my opinion in dimensions in other words we we have to begin to infiltrate every area of the earth with the kingdom and so the broadcast that i teach on tuesday or thursday nights on kbtv i do with things like they're dealing with the marketplace um how to uh bring the kingdom in every area of society. Because, you know, it's more than just having church, I believe. I mean, that God wants us to be able to show up in the unlikely places and express to the world what the kingdom of God is. And so that broadcast um, is about that. Also do something called uh, Kingdom, I'm sorry, Prophetic Intel um, every Saturday evening on um, Facebook Live. And so the same thing, except that's more of a prophetic um, movement. And uh, so, yeah, that's what we do. Um, in my, my opinion, we should be get, begin to use every outlet of, of possible to get the, the, this gospel of the kingdom out to the world. So, you know, I, I love that. Um, I I am very much in agreement about, about what you're saying about kingdom. Um, how do you, I'm trying to even get the question right. <laughs> Okay. How do you find that balance of being a pastor over a church, but yet having a kingdom agenda? Because maybe, uh, let me try to make it clear, and if you don't yes. understand, because sometimes that could be contradictory, if you know what I mean. Sure, uh, sure. For some, for, for some leaders and some pastors, I am very much in line with a, a kingdom mindset. I'm very much in line with discipleship and going out because at this point we need to be going out to reach people. Yes. So if yes. we're always trying to keep people in, we're not accomplishing the goal that yes. God has for us. So how do you as a leader uh, oversee, but not oh, like <laughs> I, I want to say like almost, prohibit or stop people from flowing in that kingdom thing that God has called them to flow in. I hope that makes sense. I got you. I got you. And it's a good question. Uh, number one, I want to say that Matthew 14, uh, Matthew 24 um, and 14, oh, I'm sorry, Matthew 28 and 19, it says to go into all the world. Okay, number two, number one. He said going to all the church. Or going to all. In fact, he didn't even say make church members. Ooh. He said make disciples. Okay, Jesus is not a Christian. He's just who he is, and we are to be like him. And so, if you look at it from that standpoint, that model says that every mountain of society should be infiltrated with the kingdom of God. 
I believe that. And then look at the piece also that uh, the Bible says that we are kings and priests. We're both. We're both kings and priests. The priestly part of us, of course, deal with the house of God. But the king standpoint deals with conquering, going to other territories. And so when the Lord talks about uh, uh, subduing other territories, he's referring to the world. I believe that we should have a, have a broadcast um, uh, even on a secular station, even taking the gospel into the into the entertainment arena, the gospel into the the uh, the sports. E every mountain of society must be subdued under the kingdom of God. That's what I believe. And so I tell people all the time that your gifts, it may start in church, but if it stops there, we're in trouble. At that point, it seeks to be kingdom. And you're only dealing with your priestly side and not your king side. Kings, kings and priests is not a gender thing. It is a title. It's who God is, who you are in Christ. So as a woman of God, you, you, you're not just in church. You're out here and you're presenting the kingdom of God in other parts of society, the marketplace where the kingdom of God really counts. Look, we find in church we're supposed to be anyway. Um, but but um, the real infiltration, the real uh, colonization begins when the kingdom of God leaves the four walls and goes into all the world. Well, you just said a whole lot there. And again, I am <laughs> in absolute agreement with everything you said there and i you know i definitely you know for me um this has been a journey too like i said you know everyone's journey in ministry and coming to god and you know all that they're called to do is a little bit different which is why we need to understand our own kingdom assignments yes, and, yes. You know, everyone has a kingdom assignment and it doesn't necessarily even though we may all have a certain title how we live out our assignments should look different. Mm -hmm. You know, it shouldn't all look the same. And so for me, I know I realize that my assignment is not in the four walls. Mm -hmm. It's not in the four walls. God made that clear. And I thought something was, I'm be honest, I thought something was wrong with mm -hmm. me because he never showed me within the four walls. He's always shown me out. And mm -hmm. I think it's partly because of what I'm gifted to do. You yes. know, I'm gifted to go out. Um, you know, I am in the entertainment um, arena and event planning and all of that. And so I get to meet and greet and deal with a whole lot of different people. Mm -hmm. And I get the feeling that when they come across me, they probably say there's something a little bit different. Right. I've got to represent Christ so that you know what somebody's going to say well you know what it's something different well what so that i can start to talk about this jesus and this right. relationship and bring them in so yeah it's really important for us to know our individual kingdom assignments and have the support that we need to be able to go out and walk in that assignment because as long as we stay in the four walls and only stay there we will never be able to reach the masses and yes. even with covid the unfortunate thing I found with COVID is that what we did was we just turned everything to an online session. <laughs> <laughs> and we're from the four walls to online, but we still really didn't go out to the right. masses. We really didn't make the effort to go beyond who we would ordinarily have contact with. So that's really important. I like that the kingdom agenda and obviously your ministry uh, represents that. So. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, you are also the director of broadcasting for Kingdom Purpose TV. So, mm -hmm. what does all of that entail? Yeah, one of the things that that I that I do is I, I greet the the some of our new broadcasters, um, and I help um, give them some very um, how can I say, godly reminders about certain things, and uh, we we help keep things in line, and you know, but. The thing about KBTV that, that that's so unique, other than other stations, is that our fellowship is different. We we actually fellowship with our broadcasters. We actually are in contact with them. 
Um, as you know, Bishop Vernon T. Matthews, uh, um, our CEO, you know, uh, him and I, you know, we, we have a good relationship, have for a long time, and we flow together in, uh, in this. And I, you know, some of the things that he don't get to, get to do, then I, I'll do it. And pretty much whatever needs to be done, of course, in that arena, you know, I, I will do it. But you know, I, I, you, you're one of our staff people. The, our whole entire staff, in, in, in my opinion, is second to none. In, 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 um, in terms of how we deal with our broadcasters and our clients, and that makes the difference. Um, and so, yeah, what, what, what I do, I, I, I do a lot with uh, reminders and directing in terms of uh, making sure that their broadcast times are correct and, and things of that nature. Yeah, so you're right. There's definitely something different about Kingdom Purpose TV, which is yes. how I ended up on the platform. I've shared it, yes. but it's worth sharing again that, you know, I had looked for a a network to be on. I was looking for a while and had come across a, a, a few at one point even thought about, you know, well, well, maybe I need to do my own. Then I thought about the energy and time and effort that it would take to do that. So yes. I changed my mind uh, on, on that note. And so yes. that's why I have so much respect for um, Bishop uh, Bernard Matthews, because what he's done in such a short amount of time yes. is amazing. I, mm -hmm. I really do understand what it takes to be able to run this kind of platform and yes. a lot. And he's done it extremely well and extremely quickly, especially mm -hmm. to be where he is, where we are in terms of the numbers, in terms of the number of broadcasters. Yes. And so, yeah, you know, I, I always just make sure I give him a shout out whenever yeah. I can, but he was yeah. actually the reason I decided to actually become a part of the Kingdom Purpose wow. Group because when I initially reached out again, I had reached out to a couple of other places. It was so automated, if you know what I mean by that. Of course. It was not personal at all. And so when I reached out and got a phone call back from a person, first of all, I was surprised that like someone, it wasn't like an automatic email response that said, hey, this is what you need to do, make your payment and you're good. So I was initially surprised that someone contacted me and I was like, okay, I like this. And then after having a conversation with him and him explaining what the vision and the mission was for Kingdom Purpose TV, I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely on board. Oh and yeah. Once I got on board and I really got to see what the platform was like and all that was going on, I was like, you know what? I really like this. And so that's when I volunteered and I said, listen, if there's something that I can do to assist you, if there's something that I can do to help you, you know, I do some stuff with marketing. I do quite a bit. Let me know because I just appreciate so much what you're doing that mm -hmm. I want to help you. And so that's how I got involved. So wow. okay, KPTV might be similar in some ways to some mm -hmm. other Christian platforms, mm -hmm. but it is different in the fact that we really do operate more like a family. Yes, I totally agree. Yes. I totally agree. So you came on, well, you knew, you knew him, you came on, you started working. And like I said, so many things have happened. Um, mm. It's going on two years. We're going to be celebrating our second anniversary soon. Oh yeah. And so it's going on two years. And we've been able to expand to uh, maybe, you know, I don't even know how many platforms, different platforms we're on right now. It is, and I tell you, it's hard to keep up because the announcements are coming so frequent, so frequent now. Um, um, there are other, I put it there are other platforms I can't even pronounce. So the Lord is good and we are expanding. I mean, just millions of homes are around the world, man. This gospel is being preached. And uh, and that's why you know as we not get ahead of us as, as we go towards goes further in this in this uh, interview, um, the whole partnership piece is so important because what we're doing now we are literally li literally fulfilling the, the great commission. So that's the part that is really exciting to me. Uh, Lou, everything else is part is the part that we're getting out the gospel to all the nations, and that's what really matters. 
Yes, absolutely. I think the other unique thing about Kingdom Purpose TV is that when you look at, you know, the, the big, because we're up there with some of the big um, broadcasting Christian. Yes. Networks. I yes. can, um, I mean, our numbers are up there along with them. What I love about Kingdom Purpose TV, which is, you know, when we, we're going to get into our discussion about the partnership, is that you don't have to have a celebrity status to come on no. Kingdom Purpose TV. You just have to have a heart, you know, for God and a, a, a desire to bring forth his word. Yes. And that was the other piece that I liked about Kingdom Purpose uh, TV was that you got to be able to come onto a platform that literally can reach millions and you could do it. Here's the other part. Without spending hundreds of dollars a month. Praise God. That was the that's the other amazing thing about Kingdom Purpose TV is that it is affordable. Mm -hmm. It's affordable. So even the smallest ministry or individual can come on and can broadcast either on the TV network or on the radio network. Yes. So again, Bishop Matthews has done an amazing job with making this um, a platform that's available to pretty much anybody, the masses, anybody who wants to come on board was, mm -hmm. was and is able to come on board. So that is a great thing. So let's transition into a little bit more about Kingdom uh, Purpose TV. So mm -hmm. again, you know, uh, I, maybe you know, but I know most of the slots at this point are, are, are pretty much filled up. Yes. Uh, especially the prime time slot. So that's pretty amazing. And so we went from, um, you know, just a few broadcasters to, you know, starting to fill up the program. Mm -hmm. And now I'm really having a pretty complete schedule of ongoing uh, broadcasters. Mm -hmm. And then more recently, um, we went into the metaverse. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. So what were your thoughts about the metaverse? Well, you know, it's funny because I always pick up, I always pick up Brenda all the time about thinking think about something to do that's new. Um, I say, man, we're, we're really going high tech now. We, we're going into the virtual world uh, with the gospel. And you know, you know, Gwen, it's, it's really it's, it's untapped when it comes to ministry. Uh, there are some who's going into it, but not as many as regular kind of broadcasting. And uh, Vernon, I, I got to tell you, man, that the, the, the guy is a hard worker. My head go off to him. Um, this brother has built the whole entire uh, uh, universe in in, in the uh, virtual world, um, and I, you know it's, it's a great thing. You know, as you know, we 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 now have uh, programming in the VR. I mean, it's it's just it's just crazy, but it's a God thing. And like I said earlier, um, the kingdom of God. See, the Bible says like this: the kingdoms of this world is becoming. The kingdoms of our God and his Christ. Everything in this earth will be subdued under the kingdom. And, and, and this VR piece is just another example of the kingdom of God uh, taking taking authority in, in that realm. And we should. Yeah, you know, initially, I got to tell you, initially I was a little concerned. I was like, oh, Lord, we going into VR, you know. <laughs> right. My, from a spiritual standpoint, I'm talking about all that is involved with virtual reality. I get it. All the different things that you can do within virtual reality. Mm -hmm. You know, you can literally become somebody else. You can, yes. you know, you the can avatars. do some, some yeah. pretty out there stuff in, right. in VR. And so my initial thought behind it was, oh, Lord, we going into that like that. That's some craziness in there. But I think you said it. You, you answered that earlier. And I actually, it was uh, Pastor David Ray. He said something. And then what you say confirms it. We're supposed to go out into the world. Yes. To preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just another realm, as you said, of the yes. world. Yes. That we're going to be living in. And with all that's going to be going on there, mm -hmm. as in the world, there is no better place exactly. to have Christian broadcasting going on. So and when they're in that world, maybe they can stumble across something that is actually going to be able to truly save them. Yes. Yes. 
You know, Gwen, you know, real quick, I, I remember years ago, um, when I was out there doing doing my thing, we, we used to have this little event in the park during the summer. And uh, way back the way way before everything was so high tech, of course. And they was playing this old song years ago about the whiners. Hold up the light, run a song. I can't sing. Save the world from darkness. I can't don't worry about that. I ain't gonna try to sing the whole song. But I was sent on my friend's back porch. I never I my, my friend's back porch. And when I heard that tune, it just struck me in my spirit, in my heart. And what I'm saying is, when you put the kingdom in places where it's not normally a uh, place, the impact can be tremendous. Now, that where it was being played at was a real rough area. But it's planted out there in, in the atmosphere, it does something. When I heard that song, it, it does, because I, I knew from a child what, what, what it means to be, you know, to be in ministry or the church, but it reignited something inside of me. And the same thing will happen with, with the VRP. Somebody going to be in there doing whatever they're doing and run across something in that realm that's either going to remind them of what it's, what it's supposed to be or prick their heart about who they can be in Christ. So it's, it's, a, it's, just, a, it's, just, it's just the same, same concept. That's a great example. And yeah, so that, you know, I'm always grateful that um, I always try to have an open mind to everything, which is what we need to. You know, we really, before we shut something down, we need to have an open mind. The word tells us, you know, when God is always trying to do a new thing and we can't put him in a box. Right. You know, we, we can't allow tradition and religion to put God in a box. And so, like I said, if this is going to be a part of the world, um, this new realm of VR, we definitely need to be there. And that is it, that what you just said speaks to that. We need to be able to be a presence in there, whether yes. it is to reignite or whether it is to prick or to get interest so that somebody might, like I said, want to know who is this God? Who is this who is Jesus it? person yeah. that these yes. people keep talking about? So, yeah, I'm actually excited about it. You know, I actually, along with uh, Shakita and Makia, which is uh, yeah. the other two staff members of KP, yeah. we have our sister talk in there that we started once a month. And uh, it's it's pretty exciting. We, we've, we've done two shows thus far and people have come in and we've gotten great feedback about it. It's definitely different, something uh that I have to get used to, but I, I, I can see the value of uh, having a platform like that and being able to bring forth um, inspiration, um, the word, and just have an impact in another, like I said, in another universe, literally in another universe. Praise so, God. Part of, um, like I said, part of what Kingdom Purpose TV does is really to be able to ensure that people can come on to this platform, mm -hmm. that they can spread the gospel, and they can do it at an affordable cost. It's quality. You know, the program is this quality. Yes. Just the whole setup is quality. There, there's nothing lacking in it. And so, of course, you know, the pricing is low, but it takes support. You know, it, yes. at the end of the day, it takes support, and it does take money to be able to keep this platform going. And I know our CEO does not want to go up for a price and he wants to keep it affordable mm -hmm. for the regular everyday person to be able to come on and be able to broadcast. And so that's one of the reasons why we created our partnership program. Mm -hmm. And we kind of put it out there a little while ago, about a, uh, maybe, uh, probably about a year ago now. Mm -hmm. um, and we just, you know, we're getting a little, some feelers about it. We had a few people sign on, but now we're ready to go full force with it. We're really ready to move forward with it. And so myself and uh, Bishop Charles Matthews, um, we spent a little bit of time talking about the partnership program. Yes. And um, hoping that some of you, um, all of you actually, uh, will become a partner, a KPTV partner, so that we can continue to do the kind of programming that we've been doing. And in fact, do even more if that's possible. Yes. But, um, so the partnership program, the goal of the partnership program 
uh, is to be able to expand the ministry of Kingdom Purpose TV. Uh, the partnership will allow us to improve our programming and support the ministries under Kingdom Purpose TV. And I will include also Kingdom Radio as well in that. And so the partnership program um, involves different levels. There are different levels to the program. Mm -hmm. because again, we understand that people may want to be involved, but not everyone can be involved at the same mm -hmm. time. So we wanted to make it so that anybody who wanted to become a partner could partner with us. Mm -hmm. And so the first level is the ministry partner. And the ministry partner, these are monthly memberships, uh, is a commitment of five to ten dollars. And mm -hmm. with five to ten dollars, it will give you access to KPTV newsletter, which we will be starting, um, a monthly prayer call, and you will also receive a discount on all events that take place under KPTV, such as our annual Kingdom Purpose TV conference. And we are finally coming out of COVID, and so we will be doing more face-to-face -face things more yes. uh, in-person meetings and conferences and events. And so as a partner, you'll be able to get discounted uh, pricing to attend as well as some other special perks. So that's a ministry partner level. Amen. Amen. And yes, go, go ahead. Go ahead sister. No, no, go ahead. What you yeah, well, yes. And and each part you'll, you'll see, um, beloved is, is is so important and so key so we have as she said earlier that the prices and the even the levels of partnership has been placed so in, in such a way where you can um it, anybody can be become a sore giver and a partner so just begin to, to listen to different different levels and we're going to uh, even even further in the, in the broadcast about the benefits of being a partner so you go continue on with, with the the platform there, um, All right, so the next level is the vision partner. Uh, the vision partner is a commitment of 11 to $25 a uh, mm -hmm. month. And as a vision partner, you will receive everything that the ministry partner receives, but you will also have access to quarterly leadership training. Uh, this training will only be available uh, to our partners. Mm -hmm. uh, you will also receive a discount of 25% on all the events that take place under the KPTV um, realm, you know, as, and that will include our annual conference. And I want to add to that, the leadership, the leadership piece is, 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 is powerful. Uh, Bishop Vernon T. Matthews personally teaches those uh, sessions. I'm going to tell you that they, they are powerful, and it will bless you um, to be a part of that, to be able to chime in and getting in those classes, they're absolutely awesome. And for those of you out there who are pastors, um, this will bless you and bless your leadership. And you can get those uh, and your staff involved. I'm telling you, Bishop Vernon is a great teacher, and you will be it, you it will bless you and your people to to get in on those leadership classes. So the final level is the kingdom partner. So a monthly membership fee of $25 or more will allow you to become a kingdom partner. Uh, you will also get to get on top of everything that you get in the vision partner. You will also get the book of the month. And so you will have the book of the month mailed out to you. Every month you will receive a new book and we already have books waiting and ready to go yes. out. I know that I am actually about to release something that will be on there. I have a few other books. And so there are books waiting to be sent out to you uh, at no additional cost. Also, as a kingdom partner, you will receive a 50% discount on event ticketing that is related to Kingdom Purpose TV. And so those, those are the ministry levels. So and let me, I mean, this, I just want to go through quickly. Let me scroll. I want to go through quickly some of the, the other levels, not the levels, but exactly what it is that you will get. So you will get the monthly prayer call. That is part of it. Mm -hmm. Depending on your level, the book of the month, leadership program, and the annual kingdom conference access 
And yeah. so as we begin to expand and we do the conference, there's going to be people who are going to always want to have access to the conference. Our partners will also have access to purchase these tickets prior to opening it up to the public. So there will definitely be advantages to becoming a partner with us. Yes, yes. I also want to ask, I also have a book coming out as well called Moving at the Speed of the Kingdom. So that, that, that will be a, a great uh, book to also to read. So stay tuned. It's coming. So those of you who want to partner with us, you have a, 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 some great reasons to, to become a partner. So share with us, you know, I've, I've given the information about the partnership program. Yes. Share with us from a, a biblical standpoint, you know, what this partnering uh, means and why you should want to become a partner with KPTV. Amen. Well, you know, Sister Gwen, a lot of times people, they hear about stuff and no one explains to them the reason why the, the uh, why it's important to be a part of something. Uh, a lot of ministers just they tell you, they, 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 you know, they give us some amount of money and you get this or you, you'll get that. But there is a kingdom spiritual reason why God wants you to be, become a partner um, that will lead to natural benefits. I believe that. I see it happen in my own life and ministry. So let me give you three reasons why to partner um, with um, KPTV in terms of the spiritual aspect and in terms of you being a partaker of what we're doing. Um, we'll call this a session of power of partnership. Is that all right? Yes. And you'll see more of this on on our platform. Um, number one, the, the 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 first the first reason why we'll call it we'll call it we'll, we'll, the question will be, what's the purpose of partnership? Okay, that's number one. What is the purpose of partnership? You find in the Matthew twenty four and fourteen, where it says. It says, in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. So the first purpose of becoming a partner, watch this, is that when you partner with KPTV, and this gospel is When a person gives their heart to Jesus, then you are in connection with that. Okay. Or, can, can, you went out for a second, and I don't want anybody to miss this. Okay. So, so I want you to say that again. Okay. Amen. Amen. So, again, the three, three, three reasons why, and, and I'm glad, but actually, because I want to make sure that I, I emphasize this, this portion uh, in terms of the spiritual benefits because people don't understand oftentimes why they give. You know, we heard something like pay your tithes or God's gonna get you or, or give. And, you know, church sometimes can, can be can be kind of out of balance about the whole money piece. But the first of all, let me say this before I get started. God doesn't need our money, but we do. Okay. Kingdomnomics. It's not the same as economics in the earth. Mm. That's where I mean. You know, I'm, I like to make sure. I like it up. though. I'll be using that. <laughs> Kingdomnomics will always override the world's economics. So put this back in your mind. We're talking about kingdom nomics. We're referring to you getting your money that you earn involved in God's kingdom. You are literally talking about investing in, in, in the kingdom. So number one, the reason why you should be a partner with KPTV is that it says in Matthew 4, 24 and 14, and it says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness until all nations, and then the end shall come. What are you saying, Bishop? I'm telling you that when you become a partner and you sow your financial seed, first of all, when 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 your seed leaves your hand, it does not leave your life. It literally goes into your future, multiplies, 
it comes back to you in form of a harvest. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. But when you begin to sow financial seed into this ministry, you are literally assisting us in preaching this gospel. Listen, and to all the earth. The Bible says at that point, then the end shall come. So keep in mind that when you sow your seed, you are actually helping us to get the gospel out. Places like Congo, places around the world that many people won't hear the gospel. But when they hear the gospel and that one soul says yes to Jesus, you help that take place. That's number one. Number two, to make disciples of all men, the Great Commission. Matthew 28 talks about that. He says, go into all the world and, and make disciples of all men, baptize of them, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You, you get it? That's, that's, that's the Great Commission. Read it for yourself. Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20. Jesus talks about that we should make disciples of all men. So when you be a, uh, when we become a partner with us, don't think that your portion is not working. Every time you give, another broadcaster is preaching, teaching, ministering, and we are reaching people who a lot of times who can't get to church, those who are uh, who are in in bed and can't you know they're they're they can't get out of their beds. Folks who are wheelchair bound, individuals that, that normally can't get out, they can get this word. And when that happens, what you're doing, you are helping us disciple people. So keep in mind, your, your financial gift is, is literally assisting us to bless the world. And finally, this is where I want to be to bless you. Matt, uh, uh, Philippians uh, chapter 1. This is very powerful. I want to bless you and I want to um, provoke you in Jesus' name to become one of our partners. And be, I want to be very methodic and very purposeful. Listen to this. Philipp the Philippian church, Paul wrote to them be because he was so, how can I say this, grateful. Because Gwen, the, the Philippian church was one of the churches that literally blessed him and helped him financially. They Listen, they didn't just talk about it. They was being about it, okay? They literally took time to send financial seed to help Paul on his missions, on everything that God told him to do. Now, I'm going to read this to you, and, and I'm almost done. Paul. This is Philippians chapter 1, verse 1. Paul uh, and, and, Tim, and Timotheus, servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ, Jesus which, which are at Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, grace be unto you and peace from our God and Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, listen to this, being confident of this very thing, that he which have begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Verse 7. Listen to this real carefully. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart in so much as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. Watch this phrase. Ye all are partakers of my grace. Good God of mercy. Now, this is powerful because Paul is saying, you, and keep in mind, the Philippian church were, were probably one of the only churches that gave, really. Paul said to them, that you are partaking in my grace. What do you mean, Brother Matthews? There's grace to do everything God called you to do. Yes. Every promise of God has a grace attached to it. 
What is grace? Grace is power to be and power to do. So as, as, as the apostle Paul, Sister Gwen, was out there doing what God called him to do, uh, going on tours, ministry tours, and blessing people in, 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 the, in all the regions that he was in. He told them, people, those church folks in Philippians, in Philippi, when y'all gave to me, when you give to me, you are partaking in my grace to minister. That's powerful. That means, listen to this, that means the same anointing, the same power and grace that's on me comes on you. That's shouting ground right there. <laughs> that that means, and so what, what that means is, partners, when, when those of you who partner with us, the grace that's on us to reach the lost, to pray for the sick, to bless others, <clears throat> comes on you. You are helping us to be responsible to win souls around the world. And the grace to do that will bless your life. Now, this is the final thing I'm going to tell you. This is God's business. Right, Gwen? This yep. is God's business. I know this for a fact. If you take care of God's business, he's going to take care of your business. Come on, somebody. If you take care of God's business, he's going to handle your business. So I want to give you those three things because I want you to know that as you become a partner in the lieu of receiving things, uh, of course, externally, like she, that, that Sister Gwen mentioned, the books and, uh, and the other things, you also become a partaker of this grace. Somebody maybe want to commit, commit suicide. And they heard a word from, from one of our broadcasters and decided, no, I'm not, not going gonna to die today. I'm going to say yes to Christ. Some single, some single uh, mother with, 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 with all those children that's depressed on the verge of doing some crazy things. One word from God changed in her life. You just don't know the impact, but when you become a partaker of this grace by sowing, by becoming a monthly a partner, you are partaking in that grace. I'm telling you, partnership is something that's, that's, that's not taught enough, but it's powerful. And it can bless you and it can bless you financially. Well, that's, <clears throat> that is a great brief teaching, uh, brief but to the point and very clear. Um, not only are you benefiting uh, KPTV, you're benefiting um, yourself as well as the people who are in need of hearing God's word. And so it is. it goes beyond you. It goes beyond us when yes. you become a partner with KPTV. So before we close out... Um, is there anything you want to share? Anything that you might have coming up? I know you just mentioned the book. Share with yes. us anything that you might have coming up, as well as how can people connect with you? Yes, well, of course, you can connect with me um, on my Facebook page. Uh, I want to say uh, 50, I say it, it's 50. Bishop Matthews, I believe, uh, on, on this Facebook, or it's go on my Facebook page, Bishop Matthews, and you'll see different things that we're doing. Also, you can connect with us on our on our um, No Limits Nations Church page on Facebook. Of course, you can catch me on Facebook on uh, Saturday evenings. Praise God for um, prophetic intel at 7.30 p.m. And on Mondays and Wednesdays, we're also having live prayer on um, Facebook at 12 noon. So any of those platforms, of course, on KPTV. Um, also, remember, I believe it's May 29th. It start, kicks off our Kingdom Reset Conference, I believe, when. I think that's a right date. Make sure you, um, I'm, I'm giving the right dates. Uh, I, I want to say May 27th, I believe, through the 29th, I, I think, will be our Kingdom Reset, reset Conference. Yeah, so that's May 20, May 27th through to the 29th, our uh, Kingdom Reset Conference for Kingdom Churches. So uh, you stay stay tuned for that. And pretty much, yes, yeah, you can follow me on Facebook and um, catch us on KBTV. But we're, we're, listen, we're excited 
of what the Lord is doing in this ministry. We are reaching the laws across the entire planet. And I'm for one, I'm excited about it. Yes, and so am I. So you, uh, thank you so much for coming on, taking us some time to yes. uh, just share some information with us, some nuggets with us, talk about the partnership program. Um, again, great information. Looking just um, just to put it out there, our anniversary celebration will also be coming up. Our second year anniversary celebration will be coming up uh, the end of June. Uh, last year we did it. It was completely virtual. We had some great speakers, some great performances. And so be on the lookout for the information for that. That will be coming forth soon. So again, I thank you for joining us this morning uh, for Kingdom Purpose News for this special edition with our own Bishop Matthews. We ask that you would join us again next Saturday at 8 a.m. on Kingdom Purpose TV. So God bless and have a wonderful week. God bless you. I have a question for you. Are you tired of being stuck? Are you tired of year after year making goals and plans to accomplish something and it just doesn't seem to happen? Are you tired of not being supported in your dreams and your goals and your vision? Well, I have an opportunity for you. I want you to consider becoming a member of Success Arise Academy. This is a membership that is designed with you in mind. It provides education, inspiration, and transformation for you to be able to achieve those goals and become everything it is that God has created you to be. This is a membership program designed for women to be able to also come together and encourage and support one another. So if this sounds like something that you're looking to be a part of, I want you to visit www.successarise.com because it is time for you to move from stuck to unstoppable.